He's been one of uh, Colin Montgomery's strong men this week, hasn't he? Well, he's now played six foursomes matches and won them all in the Ryder Cup. 100% record, which is pretty special. Isn't it? I mean, oh, I you've got to feel ten feet tall, haven't you? There's only one look down. <laughs> <laughs> this is match number three on the team representing United States of America, Jim Fury. representing Europe, Luke Donald. to have been in the uh, bunker could have had half a shot although so steep the bunkers that he wouldn't have been able to see the green this looks like he's just going to have to chuff it out and get it back on the fairway US looking to overcome a three shot deficit and if they do go on and win it will be the second biggest deficit ever overcome in singles biggest of course was in Brookline in 99 when Mark James's European side led by four when the US came back to win so this would be the second biggest deficit ever overturned by a US side. 465 yards the first. And see what cold it is out there with Donald being forced to hit a metal wood here. His expression would indicate that he's not too happy with it, but... He couldn't see where it was going, but I mean, he hits the ball so straight. Perhaps I was being over anxious on his behalf. Meanwhile, Jim Furyk's playing his third to the first. Look, Donald on in two. The first green, these vast crowds. And there was some concern about how many might turn up today on a, on a Monday morning, a working day. I think everybody that was here yesterday is back again today. It wasn't far away at all, was it? Beautifully paced putt by Luke Donald. Sure, because this uh, to halve the hole at the first. What a good four to make. That was a hard working four, but at a position off the tee, but again showing how good they are getting up and down from 100 yards. Third shot for Fury doesn't look very inviting, does it? Really muddy lie here. Ball a long way below his feet. Tight pin. And he is in. Stuart Sink country. That is a really tough position to be in. That's going to take all his skill to get up and down from there. Real trouble for Donald. So down in the swale, but in the rough, and that's very good. A little bit of work to do. Have that for a half. Meanwhile, Furyk. <laughs> oh, 
Did I would say it would take all his skill to get up and down? It did. What a fantastic shot that was. He took it so clean. The judgment perfect. This is Luke Donald at the second to get his half. Which he does. You know, this early in the match, uh, these putts are so vital. Miss one and suddenly your confidence can be so affected. Now here's Furyk at the par 3 third. 180 yards over the water. Oh, and that's in. That's going to go all the way back down. And there's the telltale ripples. Good record in match play. Look, Donald, that's every match play. World match play, Vivendi Trophy and Ryder Cup. More than 60% success rate for the Englishman, now Chicago based. Oh, and that's just hanging on. I think you thought it was going in the bunker. Lucky not to be in the sand. Donald at the third. Delicate little shot here. He's played it nicely. Just Come on, looking to hold that. He quite fancied it. So Furyk's been in the water here, so. This makes it that little bit more difficult for Donald. Donald must now hold. What a good match player Furyk is. He's made the mistake, but he's going to force Donald to hole a putt to win the hole. Didn't give it away, saying, OK, it may not be good enough, but you better make sure you get your three. Just a little from his left, left half. Yeah! He's a reliable putter, as Luke Donald, isn't he? As reliable as Furyk, this was always going to be a very close game and uh, a tremendous encounter. Yeah. This is the kind of weather that the Welsh Tourist Board were looking for over the last uh, three days. They didn't get it very much, maybe a little bit on Saturday, but this is the Wales they want people to see. They have been so unlucky. If this Ryder Cup had been taking place one week ago or one year ago, then would have been playing in this kind of weather. We'll make the most of today, I'm sure. Sound for Furyk into the fourth. Donald. He doesn't have to be as fit as some of the other players, Luke Donald, because he makes the game look so easy, it doesn't take anything out of him. Luke Donald has a chance to win the hole. Furyk has taken four. Not going to get there, I don't think, is it? Not quite. Good line. Still, the hole is halved. And Donald remains one up. Luke, Luke. Back to five, and Luke Donald second. Jim Furyk's already hit. On the edge of the hazard. There it is. That's a terrific shot in. Advantage Europe there. Look, Donald to win the fifth. That's for a winning birdie to go two up. And he's got it. And this is a really good, solid start by Luke Donald against a tough opponent who's only ever lost one Ryder Cup singles in Jim Furyk. And it's early yet, but Monty will be pleased at the amount of blue on the leaderboard. Let's move up to the sixth where Furyk's about to play his second shot. Fine shot. 
Donald at the six, all below his feet. Just has such lovely balance. Just caress that and looks to be so much in control of his game right now. Chance for Jim Furyk here at six. there at all, Jim. Sure, McDonald still has a putt to uh, win the hole, hasn't he? That's a wonderful putting stroke, McDonald, so... Putted really nicely in the previous five. Can he knock this one in? Yes, he can, and Rook Donald goes three up on Jim Furyk after six holes. What a start. Uh, we know from past experience just how things can change, how the colours can change so dramatically on that leaderboard. Man of the moment for Europe, Rook Donald, tee shot at the seventh. 219 yards today. Over that little ridge. Jim Furyk. Kind of a rescue, little, it's almost like a knockdown rescue club here to get it all the way to the back of this green. Pretty cozy alongside Donald. The seventh. Donald. First to go. Furyk in an almost identical line. And Furyk can certainly learn from that. Save three for the European player. That's for a winning birdie for Jim Furyk. And a good learn from uh, Luke Donald, but uh, I hope they Putt too hard and uh, too high. Come on, Luke, don't let me down. Yeah. Just waited long enough to make Jim Furyk think, is he going to give me it or is he not? Before he said, that's okay. Donald at the eighth already. Three up and Jim Furyk. Long birdie chance here. Another outstanding putt. This one doesn't drop. Jim Furyk with a chance to get one back at the eighth after Donald's putt stayed out. Nope, the hole's halved and Donald will stay three up on Furyk. Par 5 the 11th is reachable, but the 9th requires two very big hits. Donald not able to get up in two, but there's the control again we've seen so often from Donald. And following after Furyk's shot, that is just beautiful to watch. Furyk to halve the hole on the 9th. Looks as if Donald's putt has been conceded. Half and four. Donald out in 33. And uh, Jim Furyk out in 36. Donald down the hill at 10. And like everyone else so far, not tempted by that difficult pin. Down the hill on this par three. Pin right on the very back section, Furyk. Yeah. He's down 11 metres, so probably plays more like 205. He's good at holding them to win holes. Is he just as good to half holes? Oh. 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 Oh.
not only surprising, but disappointing from a European point of view. Jim Furyk wins his first hole. Luke Donald for a birdie at the 11th. Having just lost a hole. He's got that one in and it was going in at speed. My goodness gracious, if that hadn't hit the hole and gone down, it would have been way across the green. Puts the pressure on Fury, eh, Warren. Yeah, Sergio Garcia was there to see that good friend of Donald. He's helping him, but uh, Fury just nonchalantly tapping his birdie putt in, so that hole halved. Donald was in a bit of trouble there until he popped that putt in. Donald, good tee shot on 12, ideal position, but this is a tight pin over on the right. Fraction long, but better there than coming up short. Here again to 12, peering into the sun. Lovely shot. Certainly the Americans playing very strong around the middle part of the course. Furyking close. Can he hold another? Oh, that is brave from Donald. Two very big putts he's hold on the last two greens. Jim Furyk, that's for half at the 12th against Luke Donald. Yeah, no mistake. But Donald's. Hanging on, wonderful. That's two great putts for birdies to stay two ahead of Furyk. And Furyk must be wondering what on earth he's going to have to do to beat this guy. Furyk on 13. Most of the Americans have played safely to the left of this flag today. There's another one. A lot of the Europeans have been sucking into going for this tight flag on the right, and it's cost them dear. McDonald, 185 yards over the water at 13. What a shot, what a brave shot. Jim Furyk for a birdie at the 13th. Donald much closer. Uh, big putt coming up for Luke Donald. He could get to three up again. Now Donald to go three up against Furyk. <sighs> Stayed out. That is a surprise. He's been putting beautifully. Chance missed, perhaps. Furyk's not in, though. Furyk needs this for a half against uh, Donald. Yeah! Oh, wow. I didn't think that would happen. And Luke Donald has felt that he's missed his chance by missing his own shot. He's put... Goes three up again over Jim Furyk. Wins the hole there against Luke Donald, who takes five at uh, the 14th. So Donald is two up with uh, four to play. Jim Furyk is by no means uh, accepting defeat at the hands of Luke Donald. He's got the honour at 15. He's missed the green. I've been saying all week that the, the rough over on that right hand side really is horribly thick. Donald on the 15th, Furyk missing the green right. Needs to hit this up the left side and cut it in. Doesn't like it. 
Ooh, that's in the water. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it's in the hazard, but it's not in the water. Well, that was one of the worst shots we've seen Luke Donald hit. Oh, we're going paddling again. Luke Donald this time. 15, horrible shot here. Up the hill. Oh, he's done brilliantly. One of the shots of the day. It's always going to be difficult from over there for Furyk. It was always going to be tight this afternoon. Furyk for a birdie. Remember, he's only two down. Oh. Straight in there for Furyk. Good three, and Donald, although he's played a wonderful recovery, still has to make a very good putt for a half. And talking of resources, this little bit of break from left to right for Luke down the slope. Oh, and a cracking three. Looked at one minute as if he was going to get his feet wet. Stayed on the bank of the water hazard. Wonderful up and down. Not only good enough for a half, but two up and three to play for Europe. 16th and Furyk longer than Luke Donald and Donald looks to be just off the fairway two up three to play and needs to hang on he's got the rescue club in his hand and seems like a lot of club but maybe taking it because the lie is pretty poor gonna hope for a nice clean contact this is not easy ball below his feet Squirted it out, it started left, but is it coming back? Not enough. Can't he is there. a good bunker player, but that's a very difficult bunker shot to play. Very fast going away from him, missing it up on the top side. Now Furyk, big one this, if he can knock this one. Close to the hole. He's certainly not beaten. Oh, and he has. That'll do, that puts pressure on Donald. the way it looks at the present moment uh, Stricker already in the clubhouse 2-1 and one, uh, for America and uh, Dustin Johnson 6-4 and four against Keimer tight in the McElroy sink match Donald not looking too good at 16 against Furyk it's breathtaking and it could yet go down to the last this is a, a tough bunker shot even for his class Pitched it as delicately as he could, just over the edge, but look at it go away down the slope. Almost needed to pitch that in the fringe to hold it up. So far, 16 and 17 from the left side. Jim Furyk to win 16. Oh, what a putt, what a fighter Jim Furyk is and now he's only one down, two to play and a match which looked very much under Luke Donald's control is right back in the melting pot Furyk at the 17th, just one down Beautiful shot Furyk has hardly put a foot wrong over the last half dozen hours. Donald to 17. Still the same rhythmical swing. And a very good performance too. Under pressure. Furyk for a two, Donald is close, just made a very good birdie on the last hole. So Luke Donald will have a putt to win this match. And you really need a boost. Can Donald provide it? Luke Donald putts for victory at the 17th. Just bobbled, actually. 
can't lose the match, but uh, Colin Montgomery knows that he, he needs the point. Corey Pavin will be saying, wait a minute, I'd like half a point if you don't mind. Jay, you're down there. This is another important match as far as the Europeans are concerned if they're going to get these five points. Donald has to play a good shot here. Great layup, 124. Nice little three-quarter wedge in there for him. You want to land it past the hole and spin it back. Use the slope. This looks good. Is it close enough? We've seen the number of times Furyk produced magical shots with a short club in his hand. He's got a little bit better angle than what Donald had. Four yards closer, 120. Once again, just a little three-quarter wedge, virtually the same shot. Goodness, what a mistake by Furyk. And that is so uncharacteristic. I think we all expected him to knock that one in close, but he's overdone it. That must be pure adrenaline. Well, often you see him lose balance like that, playing such a short shot in. From 10 feet below the green, Furyk has to hold this. Well, it's all down to a very sloppy third shot in the green. They all feel pretty annoyed with himself. It seems that he has given away the, the point to Europe here. That's two putts to win the match and to stretch Europe's lead to 12-9. That'll do. It's victory for Luke Donald. A disappointing finish by Jim Furyk. McDonald always control of that match and he played wonderfully early on. That's another point on the blue side of the board. And Luke Donald wins one up. Congratulations to him and Caddy John McLaren there. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.